Hey guys, how's it going? This is Serge and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this cool write-on text effect for your Final Cut Pro project using Apple's Motion 5. Now, this can be done in Final Cut Pro, but it's much easier using Motion. If you don't have Motion 5, I'll leave a link in the video description of this same effect done in Final Cut Pro. Check it out. Let's open up Motion and take a look at how it's done. When you first open Motion, you're greeted with a project browser where you select the type of project you'll make. For this example, let's select Final Cut Title. Up in the top right corner, select the video resolution and the frame rate to match your Final Cut project and set the duration to about 4.5 seconds. Click Open. By default, title projects start off with a background layer and a text layer. We don't need these, so command click both of them and press Delete. Next, in the top of the viewer, from the Scale drop-down menu, select Fit. And last, from the menu bar, select Window and Show HUD, the convenient little heads-up display. Click and drag it down out of your way. We're now ready to make our custom title. First, let's add an adjuster text layer. In the bottom of the viewer window, from the Text drop-down menu, select Text and click and drag out a nice big text box. Enter your text, and over on your left hand side, select the Inspector tab. Align your text to the middle of your text box by clicking the Align to Center and Align to Middle buttons. Next, select your font. For best results, try and use a font that looks like handwriting. The font I'm using is called Luna, and I'll leave a link in the video description to where you can download it. Resize your text so it's nice and big. To get your title exactly in the middle of the screen, select the group layer and click and drag the title to position it, using the yellow lines as guides. Next, in the bottom of the viewer window, select the brush tool. In the HUD window, make sure the write on and smoothen checkboxes are selected. Make sure the brush color is anything but black or white and adjust your brush width so it's slightly wider than the widest part of your text. What we need to do next is trace our letters in the title with a brush tool. This has to be done all in one shot, so when you click and start drawing, do not stop until it's done. Don't worry if you don't trace it exactly with the letters, we can fix that later. Position your brush tool, hold down the left mouse button and start tracing out your letters. Trace it out the same way you would write it and try to do it as smoothly as possible. This paintbrush layer will be used as an image mask, so the way you draw this will be the way your title is revealed. Once a part of a letter is painted over, it will be visible in your title, so going over again with the brush tool won't matter. I'll trace out all my letters, then, without letting go of the mouse button, come back around and dot my eye. If we play back our clip, this is how our finished title will be revealed. If I stop my playhead at the end of the title clip, you can see a couple parts of my title that aren't covered up. Let's fix that next. Click on this little arrow to go back to the select tool and in the viewer, double click your text. This reveals your brush strokes as control points that can be adjusted. Bring your playhead back to the start of your timeline, zoom in on your viewer and go through a clip one frame at a time and adjust your brush stroke. Remember. Anything under a paintbrush will be revealed, so adjust the brush stroke to make it as precise as possible. Go through a full clip and make sure at the end your entire title is covered up. Set your viewer scale back to fit. Next, select your text layer, right click on it and select Add Image Mask. In the inspector, you'll see a mask source box. Drag and drop your paint stroke layer into this box. Now, if we play back our clip, the paint stroke layer will be used as an image mask, revealing our text below it. Let's make this animation a little quicker by ripple trimming the paint stroke layer in our timeline to about one and a half seconds long. Our title is now ready to be published to Final Cut Pro. From the menu bar, select File and Save As. Give your title a name and select a category and theme for it. To make mine easier to find, I'll make a new category for it and just call it Custom Titles. Click Publish. Your title is now ready for use in Final Cut Pro. 
Go back to Final Cut Pro. Open the Titles and Generators browser. Select the category you placed your title in. And your new custom title should be there ready for use. If you need to adjust the placement or the size of this title, do not use the controls in the text inspector. This will adjust your text, but not the image mask, and ruin the effect. To adjust your title, use the transform controls in the video inspector, so the image mask adjusts with the title. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, make sure to check out the playlist linked in the video description for more cool title and text effects. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.